What's up, guys? Coach Chris with Silverback Performance. Have you ever seen or heard somebody tell you to get the ball and point the back to second base? Well, I'm going to show you today why that doesn't necessarily work and um, where we actually should be. All right, so when we put our arm back like this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to force a lot more pressure on the shoulders and the elbow. Because as we throw the ball, what we want is we want to try to create a little bit of separation from the shoulders, staying closed, and the hip kind of opening up forward. All right, so what happens is when this ball is back like this and that leg starts to go, you can see right away that the shoulder kind of lags and the arm lags back a lot more, right? There's no rotation of the shoulder blade in this position. So an easy fix to that would be if you take the ball and instead of pointing it back, we can bring the hand and point it forward. So in my case, if I'm left-handed, the ball will be facing towards first base. And in righty's case, it'll obviously be towards third base. The reason we want to do that is because as my leg rotates, you can see right away that my arm is going to start to cock back or externally rotate. This puts the arm in a better position. As I continue to rotate forward, my fingers are now behind the ball and I don't have to worry about rotating the wrist, putting more stress on the bicep and the forearm as we move forward. So, if you're an infielder, usually you guys catch the ball and you separate, pull back right away. What I like to teach people is, think about if you were shooting a ball. If you were shooting a ball, you're gonna grab with the front, you'll pull back. And you can see right away, right away that my hand, it's gonna be uh, 90 degrees or less. So from the shoulder, right here in this joint, it's gonna be 90 degrees or less. This is a much better position than getting out here. If the hand gets long, which usually he's gonna wanna do when I point back, that's when I end up going sideways, and I'll put a lot more stress on that elbow and that UCL ligament right here. So, an easy way of thinking of it again, pull the ball. You see that my hand is here. I'm 90 degrees or less. You can also see that the ball's down. Now, this is an inverted W. We don't want to be here. We want to be slightly above the elbow. We can be here. We can even be here. As I rotate the hip forward, the arm starts to cock back. This is a much better and safer position. So. Go ahead, leave your comments on the, in the link below. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. And if you think I'm wrong, tell me why. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you out. And for more pitching uh, information or, or training or anything like that, go ahead and hit us up at Silverback Performance on Facebook. Hope you guys have a nice day.